Miss Kronka is never late. She's usually here by now. Well, hello, hello, hello. I am here on behalf of Mrs. Kronka who called me in a 911 emergency and said that there was some class that needs to be taught. Oh, Officer Andre, are you my substitute teacher today? Yes, ma'am. Man at law, at your service. Great, what should we start with first? Math, English, or science? I personally like English first, but you can choose. Well, when I took this here call, I was not aware that I would be having to teach these particular subjects. Um, let me think about that. Wait, you're not going to teach me my lessons? Well, these lessons are lovely and all, but they are not my exact skill set. I have a better idea. Why don't I teach you how to be a police officer? I bet that would be fun, but... I need to learn how to do my homework so I can pass these classes. All hoot names with all this fancy schmancy magic science stuff. You need to know any of that? Come along with me and I'll teach you everything you need to know. But school's important. You can't just erase my lessons. Now, little lady, I hear what you're saying. Believe me, I get it. But there are two types of smarts in this world. Book smarts and street smarts. I obviously have the street smarts, and that is all you need to get along. So let me come teach you a lesson or two about that. Okay, fine. What's lesson one? Dawn Cootin. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. The first lesson is the importance of a uniform. So come on with me and we'll get you changed. Let's go, Lieutenant. It's time for your orientation. All right to the uniform ward. I think you need a petite. Here it is. Um, my Halloween costume? How is that supposed to make me a cop? You got much to learn, young grasshopper. Rule number one, you gotta look the part to play the part. Okay, I'll go try it on. Ah, while she's doing that, I'm gonna embrace the oldest of cop traditions. The power man. Okay, I'm ready. You know what? Who's your over? Officer Andre? Officer? Yes, it is real. Officer Andre? You think you fell asleep? <laughs> Please don't move! Where am I? Oh, wow! Lizzie Lou, you look fantastic. Thanks. Well, I'm dressed the part, so I think I'm ready for my next lesson. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. I think you are. I just taught you the next two lessons, so I hope you're paying attention. Power naps when you can, and always stay alert. Okay, um, dress like a cop, sleep, and do karate? Sounds like something a cop would do. Definitely. Well, I mean, there's a little bit more to it than that, but it's your first day, so I won't blow your mind with all the details. Let's go. All right, this looks like a good spot for our next lesson. Well, what is the next lesson? Right, the next lesson. Uh, donut eating. Donut eating? I'm missing my actual classes for this, like math and English. These are the most weird lessons ever. the best time of the day, lunch. This isn't quite lunch, but it looks delicious. Whoa, whoa, what in tarnation do you think you're doing? Getting ready to just take a whole mouthful out of that there donut. Isn't that how you eat donuts? Maybe if you were untrained and this was just your average donut, but this here, this is a frosted topped, sprinkle embedded, stuffed donut. If you just go biting into this donut all willy-nilly, there's a 10 out of 10 chance that you are gonna splatter all over your uniform. That is lesson number five. Keep the uniform clean always. Okay, being a cop, you have to eat a donut correctly. Yes, just keep ourselves clean. We gotta cut these in half. If you're on a diet, like myself, we can cut it into fourths for you if you'd like. Mm-mm-mm, delicious. Now, what would you like? Half, quarter, maybe even an eighth? I think I'll just take a half. 
All right, sounds good to me. One half donut coming right up. Perfect, thank you, but can we hurry with this cop training because I really need to get back to my homework. Well, well, little missy. I'm doing my best to train you on how to be an officer, giving you donuts and all this goodness, and you're trying to scurry on back to your schoolwork that I told you you don't need to worry about. Well, if I don't finish my homework, then I might fail my classes. It's not good to fail your class. All squanders with all that stuff. Let's eat our donuts, and then I've got a couple more lessons planned. <sighs> okay. Man, I love being a cop. Mm-mm-mm. Five minutes later. Ah, delicious. Well, now that we have our sustenance for the rest of the day, what do you say we move on to the next lesson? Okay, but can we get back to my real lessons after that? Heavens to Betsy, you're still not hearing what I'm telling you. These are the realest lessons you're ever going to get. Come on, let's go. Okay. Okie dokie, let's move on to arguably the most important lesson of being an officer. <gasps> A pink card! Whoa, 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 hold your horses. This ain't no joyride, we're learning here. But I wanna drive it! If you think I'm about to let a 13-year-old get behind the wheel of a motor vehicle, you are a few flapjacks short of a full stack. Guessing that means no. Now come over here, let me teach you something. All right, so the lesson here is how to talk to someone when you're giving them a ticket after a traffic violation. So I will be in the vehicle and you will come talk to me as if I was speeding. The first and most important thing is as you're walking up to the vehicle, you got to do so slowly and calmly, checking for any possible danger. So head on back there, make your siren noise, pull me over, and practice your approach. Okay. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I wish I was in English class right now. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee All right. Excellent approach. We'll work on your siren sound a little bit later. Now, though, it's important to remember that you're very kind and gracious when you're first addressing the individual. So let's practice that. Um, hello, do you know how fast you are going? Whoa, whoa, let me stop you right there. That was great, but remember, I'm not going anymore. So grammarly correct, you would say, do you know how fast you was going? Isn't it grammatically correct, not grammarly correct? And I'm pretty sure you were going fast, not was going fast. Well, darn tootin', you nailed that perfectly. I must be one heck of a teacher. Let's run it again from the top. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Hello, sir. Um, do you know how fast you were going? Uh, no. Well, you were going super fast in a school zone. Oh, criminally. I must have not been paying attention. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to have to write you a ticket for that. Safety is so important. Absolutely, young officer lady. I will take my ticket and thank you so much for protecting our streets. That was amazing! I cannot believe that you nailed that so well your first try. Thank you! I was trying really hard so I could get back to my schoolwork. I appreciate your diligence. We are to our final lesson, so let's go get that wrapped up. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. That's what I like to hear. Handcuffing. What? You handcuffed me? You're darn tootin' I did. And did you see the speed and efficiency in which I did it? That is our final lesson. Okay, handcuff people fast. Got it. Now can you take these off, please? Well, kind of. There's one more part of this lesson that I need to teach you. Let me see those cuffs. All right, take that off. Thank you. Of course. And what? now, we gotta handcuff what? you again. No! Yep, and there you go. Uh, there you have a perfect handcuffing scenario. I can't get over my head uh, or underneath. I can't move. Per exactly my point. You handcuff people behind their back because that way their shoulders can't move. That's basic anatomy. Okay, learn my lesson. Now can you please uncuff me? Well, you are a pretty fast learner. But honestly, I think the longer that you're in the handcuffs, the more you'll learn about how our shoulders work and why it's so important to have proper form in this scenario. Oh, I've had enough of this. I don't want 
want you to be my substitute teacher anymore because I don't want to be a cop and I just want to get back to my normal classes. Get me out of these. Oh, well, Ugh. goodness me. Okay, little lady, I truly am sorry. I just thought I was going to help you out and, you know, have a good time and teach you some things today, but, you know, I'll let you do what you want, I guess. Ugh, thank you. Now I can actually go learn something. <sighs> well, shoot. I really thought I was gonna help her learn something and she was gonna have a good day. And then I would be a good substitute teacher. <sighs> oh, Max. Jeez. Ugh, fractions are so confusing because the bigger the number, the smaller the piece. I wish Officer Andre would have taught me that instead of donuts and all that stuff. <gasps> Wait! If you draw a donut and then cut it into fourths, then that's what Officer Andre said you should have when you have a diet, but I had half! He really did teach me fractions! What else did he teach me? Hmm, let's see, he taught me power nap. Uh, what else was there? Hmm, there was looking the part, there was pulling someone over, and... <gasps> Wait! Exactly! Grammar! Grammar is English! Of course! He taught me that if I say, how fast are you going, instead, I should say, how fast were you going? If I learn math and English, does that mean that he taught me science too? Hmm... Let's see, he taught me handcuffs, but what would that be part of science? <gasps> he said something about anatomy! <gasps> Officer Andre taught me all my lessons today, but just in a fun, unique way. I have to go find him and apologize. <laughs> Officer Andre, I have to tell you something! Oh, well, hello there, little Lieutenant Lizzie. What's up? You are the best substitute teacher ever! What are you talking about? I thought you told me that you didn't want me to be your sub anymore and that I was a horrible teacher. I'm sorry I said that because you taught me everything I need to know in all of these lessons. Oh, really? Well, shucks. I'm so happy that I was able to help. And I'm so glad that you're my sub today because you taught me that even in any scenario, you can learn what you need to know. Well, thank you kindly, little lady. That just warms this officer's heart right up. You're welcome, and thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, Hope smash, smash that subscribe, subscribe button. button. We love you guys so much, and as always, you, you are, are worth it, it. bye guys. Bye.